Welcome to this walkthrough video demonstrating how to customize a video layout and export a video with the Race Technology GoPro only software. If we first look at the screen menu, we can see that there are 10 data screens set up as default. These can be selected to change the screen we are editing. We can select a group and use the nudge arrows to move it around the screen. We can select groups and edit the things that are displayed. We can select groups from the drop down menu or by clicking on the main window. We can then edit the group properties. Let's look at another screen. In some layouts groups are hidden. In this example RPM is hidden for the GoPro layout as the GoPro does not allow for RPM data. In the full race technology software used for synchronizing our data with data from a GoPro video, RPM will be available. This shows how groups can be switched on and off to change the layout. Some displayed variables have a range. In this example, speed goes between 0 and 240. If we need a higher speed to display, we can change the top value and adjust the lower value so the scale displays round numbers. Here is another example of a hidden group. Turning on the group variable A, which is set as speed, but could be changed to another variable like lap counter, and turning off the G-force display. If we go back to screen 1, Variables can be changed by selecting the group and selecting something suitable from the drop down menus. In this example, changing the two displayed data fields from lap timing to sector timing. If there is only one variable in a group, the variable can be dragged and dropped onto the group or group properties. Here, changing the lap counter to sector number. As we drop it, it updates the title, which is too long. So we will edit that to be shorter, like so. In many of the default layouts, there are colors that can be changed in the default settings group. Changing these changes all the relevant colours in that screen. Default layouts also have pit videos in them. We would recommend mirroring any rear facing cameras so they display like a rear view mirror. To do this simply tick the mirror box. Camera numbers can also be changed to use different pips. Just make sure camera numbers aren't duplicated as this will duplicate the displayed pip. To save changes, just close the software using the cross in the top right, then click save and exit. In the analysis software, with a GoPro video loaded, we can then add the pip videos by loading them in. Click on the run manager, then the video tab at the bottom left, select camera 1 and load a video recorded at the same time. This can be a full quality MP4 if your computer is powerful enough to handle multiple HD videos. But for the smaller PIP videos, the much smaller LRV files are enough and allow the analysis software to run faster. I should mention that the chapters GoPro cameras make can be joined using our video joiner software, keeping the embedded GPS data intact. So once you've loaded all your videos in, you can export the video, clicking on the export. You will have to select the track that you're at if you have a track map in your layout. Select the time range you want to export. 
If a lap or sector is selected in the analysis software, then the start and end times will be set up for that range. For example, your fastest lap. You can select from the 10 overlays or screens set up in the overlay designer software. Check in the preview windows that the things are displayed as expected. You can click on the customize overlay button and that will open up the video overlay designer software so you can make any small adjustments before exporting. If everything's okay, click go to generate the video. Mm -hmm. 